Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm Rachel, your coach with New Leaf Wellness and Nutrition. And today we're gonna to talk about the number one thing that you need. It's the only thing you need, really. And uh, so I guess, I don't know, I'm gonna burn it all down. I'm gonna drop this video and pfft, that's it. You don't need me anymore. <laughs> the number one thing you need to do when you are deciding I'm going to stop listening to everything I've been told, everything I've been told I'm supposed to want and how I'm supposed to feel and how I'm supposed to eat and what I'm supposed to do for movement. When you decide that's it, I'm not going to listen to anyone but me. <sighs> Yay. That's your first step. That is the beginning. Intentionality is the key to what you want to do moving forward being intentional, choosing what you're going to do, doing things on purpose. Because if you just say, I just want to change, I just don't like this anymore. If you don't have anything else in place, if you do not have not only the, the, the intention that I'm going to do this, but I'm going to figure out how to do this, it's not going to stick. You're going to be sitting there in the bathroom at, you know, eight in the morning looking at the scale out of the side of your eye and thinking, I'm going to step up on there. I'm going to see what it is and then I'm going to do something. This always worked for me to before to lose a few pounds. I'm going to do it so I can lose a few pounds. Even though you know full well you're going to gain those pounds back and maybe then some, you still want to do it because you have been trained for years and years by diet culture to want to do that because that's the important thing. And if you do not put anything else in place for yourself, if you do not intentionally choose to retrain yourself, that's what you're going to fall back into. And let me tell you from personal experience, this is not easy. I'm not going to lie to you. This is a choice that you're making and you're going to have to do some work. So if you're not ready for that, that's okay. That's all right. But when you are ready, this is what's going to make the difference between being here and being here. This is true health. This is happy. This is free. This is supported by your nutrition and your movement and your self-care and your compassion for yourself. All of that good, good stuff that's over here. You're over here right now. And if you set the intention that you want to head over here, you're going to get there because you are choosing to do something different and to teach yourself something different. You know, that old saying, a lie repeated often enough becomes the truth. We see it out in our political world. We see that in our communities. We see that all the time. And that, my friends, is diet culture in a nutshell. It has told you a lie for years and you have internalized it because that's what happens. You hear it, you hear it, you hear it, you don't hear anything else. That's what we all talk about. That's what we all say. That's what we all hear. It's all around us. And just because it's all around us, we think, well, it, it must be the truth, right? Because everybody's saying it. That's, that's how this stuff works. Your intention to say, I'm not gonna let that happen anymore. I'm going to choose what I put in here. I'm going to choose how I react to things. That intentionality that says, I am going to do something different on purpose. That is what's going to get you over here. That's all you need because everything else, everything else will come as a result of that intention because that intention says there is something more for me. I am choosing something more for me. I am tired of hating myself. I am tired of hating my body. I am tired of dancing to someone else's tune. I'm going to do something about that. And when you make that intention, you will look for ways to do that. You will set your brain on a different path. And when you do that, then you have your foundation for your journey. Then you have the underpinnings. Then you have the vehicle to drive where you're going. Um, because now you have a means to get there. You don't have a means when you're just sad and you just are going to listen to whomever is going to tell you what you want to hear. Uh, all right, drop 10 pounds and you'll feel better. Um, or, you know, whatever, eat this way and, and you'll miraculously be healed, whatever. You aren't going to fall for that. You're going to do your work or you're going to say, you know what, it's worth it to me to, you know, 
eat gluten, even though everybody's telling me not to because I like bread. I like bread. Um, that's why I use that example, right? So when we have that intentionality, then we can live our lives the way we want to and we can choose what we allow in and we can use the tools we need to block and push out what's sadly still in there and and we can send it on its way. This is work. This is work. It is. But it's the foundation for living that life. You are choosing to not just be swimming around in the soup of diet culture. You are choosing to get out on dry land and have your picnic and go walk and see the scenery. You are choosing something different. When you do that, you have set yourself up to have the beautiful journey, to have the beautiful continuous life that you want, that supports you, that makes you feel good, that takes care of you instead of the journey that you had before, which is feeling like shit about yourself. You don't want that anymore. You're not here for that anymore. You are choosing to head this way. That intention will get you where you want to go. But you have to set it. You have to choose it. And you have to be willing to do the work. There's no other way around it. It doesn't happen by magic. What you got by magic, by not thinking about it, you got this over here. Feeling crappy, feeling awful, hating yourself. That's what you got for not doing anything. Because that, that's free. This over here, it's not free, but it is freedom. And it's here for you. All right, my lovelies. I'm going to leave it there for today, but I really... Uh, I hope that you are ready for yourselves to choose yourselves. Hit the subscribe button if you want to know when new videos come out. Come catch me on Instagram for more content. And uh, you deserve it. You do. And I'm here for you to support you when you're ready to stop being here. Set some intentions to head this way.